long ago, a jerry-rigged alarm system that used pop cans and fax machines symbolized the fire station's decay. But tonight, things are changing. 7 Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl has been following the department and joins us live now from the city's northwest side. So, Ronnie, how's it going now? Well, it is progress is being made. Let's go ahead and say that. But of course, with the aging fire stations and the way overused equipment, let's just face it, the Detroit Fire Department's got not going to be the poster child for fire departments across the country, at least not yet. But one thing is getting better because now when the alarm bell sounds, it's not coming from a pop can. It's coming from a smartphone. Fire. Despite being a common practice for years, it sure didn't make Detroit city leaders look good when the world found out Detroit firefighters were using pop cans and other devices rigged to a fax machine to alert them of an incoming fire. Well, not any longer. This is going to change the way they respond. Absolutely. Post bankruptcy, money is flowing, and that's allowing DFD to move out of the dark ages and into the 20th century. Bye bye, pop can. Hello, smartphone. We've uh, given all the fire department uh, leadership and the, and the firemen uh, new types of devices uh, that help them go to GPS as well as um, gives them information instantly instead of having to receive it on a, 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 a pop can falling from the fax machine. Detroit City Council President Pro Tem is an advocate for DFD. He's been pushing for improvements. Heck, he says they're even stocked up on supplies. We've made a lot of progress. We're not behind now. We actually have toilet paper in every one. It's been a sore spot in the community. Firefighters going without the basic necessities. People like Sheila Crowwell holding fundraisers to purchase supplies. A new donation policy won't allow her to give them directly to the firefighters. Her stock of coffee, cookies, and other goodies have just been sitting at her house. It's going to take a resolution for her to donate them. I'm going to introduce a resolution for her tomorrow to be able to accept it. I don't expect the mayor to be in, a, in opposition to it. Kudos to Cush for fighting not only for the men and women of DFD, but also for the citizens of Detroit who want to help the men and women of the department. And of course, I would love to be able to back up Cush's words that there is toilet paper in all of these firehouses. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed into them with my cameras to do any spot checks. Maybe one day soon. For now, we are live in Northwest Detroit. Back to you. All right, Ronnie, thank you.